Jeff. Hello. What's one of the hardest things you've been through in life that you didn't think you could get through, but you did? And how did you do it? Well, I think the hardest situation I've been th put myself through was being in debt. I moved to New York City about six years ago, you know, deep in the hole. And yeah, it, it, it seems like it's forever. It seems like it's, uh, you know, never going to change. And, you know, the, when those collectors start calling, they call to embarrass and shame you and bully you. And, and um, but, you know, I'm also very, very blessed. I've wound up uh, playing 20 games of Scrabble a week with a friend who's a debt collector, mm -hmm. former debt collector. And he really taught me a lot about the world. And it was just doing the work. Um, and learning to accept myself for who I am and the reasons why I got into debt, which was just, you know, big. But I'm free of it now. And it, it's not forever. It's, um, you know, it does just take daily work and daily attention. And I've got to look at it as an opportunity at points, you know, opportunity to change my life, an opportunity to uh, uh, change... Uh, a, 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 well, the, one of them, I negotiated one of the debts, which I didn't think I could do, but I learned a lot about that. So and they helped you put together a better plan, a better way of yeah. being able to deal with the different bills. That's right. I got a lot of support. Okay, very so well. I got a lot of support, and it helped me to actually get to a place where I could ask for support. Yes. Because, um, you know, we can't do this alone. So, and it's gotten me to a place to be able to help other people uh, find their way. And know that this isn't the end. That, you know, like jumping that. off a bridge is not an option. <laughs> you know, Absolutely. it's an option, but it's not a good option. Um, better option is to choose to live and uh, get on with your life, and um, you know, uh, get the support. There's, there's plenty of support around for that, and you know, find the love and support to uh, to free yourself from it, okay. and you know, don't look back. Yes, and when you were going through debt, dealing with debt, and having to deal with paying a lot of different bills that you didn't have enough to pay back at the time, mm -hmm. what helped you to keep going in addition to the support that you got? What helped you to, you know, I would say stay the positive? the biggest opportunity that I could see in this was like, well, what do I actually want in my life? and look at that in a, in a whole new light mm -hmm. instead of living for everybody else which was part of the problem so it, it was just it was looking at that and just turning that around and saying like what do I want because I'm here for a reason and I got to this place with all this this debt which was in a weird way a gift um, for a reason and now I'm living the life that I want to live and I realized I had nothing to lose <laughs> and, and everything to gain and that's a really actually a great position it was painful mm -hmm. but uh, the pain eventually subsided and started to go away and I, I'm still kind of my head's still kind of spinning that like I don't owe any credit card companies any money anymore that's great <laughs> congratulations that's great <laughs> yeah so you were able to get through it you yes. did it you yes. got through it yep and life just keeps getting better and what is what did it teach you what's one of the biggest things that being in debt getting through it and now being able to stand here and and, and share that you're out of it oh. what did that teach you about just what did you learn from that experience? I had a lot of people along the way in that time period, that was when I was really at the bottom, that I got to meet. And I think I took away from the experience talking to them is just be yourself, you know, and be committed to being you. And uh, I mean, I met some just incredible people. I would say they're incredible, but they're just people. Just like me and just like you, just like anybody else. Yeah. So maybe they're not incredible people, they're just people. Mm -hmm. But, you know, they're okay to be themselves. Mm -hmm. And that was my problem before, was I felt I needed to be <laughs> this person or that person. or this, oh, well, good So Lord. spending more so you could impress yep. or show people that you had more than you really had. And that yeah. that's part of a big part of what yeah. caused it. Yeah. It's a big, it's a big issue in the world now because yes. you know we get these credit cards, and it's like, oh, I can have that now, I can have that now. So we, it's you know, you give like a rat a button, they can push and they'll get a treat every time. They're gonna, it's gonna have a big rat. Yes, <laughs> you know? absolutely. You know? So it's. Uh, it all you know, has to be paid back. <laughs> but but you know, just just with that, just having just having a better sense of self, you, 
I don't need all that stuff. Absolutely. So the stuff is gone, and you know I, I live a good life, and I'm enjoying my life, and making my music, having a good time, and and um, yeah, I I'm, I'm actually actually for blessed. I'm blessed to have had that situation, have created that situation. Yes. In my life, so. Very well. Yeah. So if it didn't happen to you, you wouldn't be able to say you've learned all these things. Probably, yeah. Yeah, maybe I wouldn't have needed to learn these things. Maybe I would have had it down, but That's I mean, true. who has it down? So something good something <laughs> yeah. good came out of it. Yeah, it, something good. A great learning experience Absolutely. for you. Absolutely. All right, very well. Thank you so much, Jeff, for your time. Honored.